everyone, this is uh, session two of my solo playthrough of Dungeoneer Realm of the Ice Witch. I have sort of halfway completed one of my two quests. I have to rescue Emmy. Well, part of rescuing Emmy was to find Emmy, and I've managed to do that. She was hanging out on the shadowy plain, peaks. I said plains last time. Peaks. She was hanging out on the shadowy peaks for some reason. Don't know how she got here. Don't know why she was just out here in the frozen wasteland, but there she was. And uh, I have to get her back to the entrance now, which is one, two, three spaces away, which seems almost trivial, except it's not in this game. In <laughs> this game, that's like, that's a, well over a day's travel and lots of horrible beasts. So uh, just to clarify some of the, I mean, these are solo rules created by me, really. Uh, so this is not rules as written in, dun in Dungeoneer. There's, I don't think there is a solo mode in Dungeoneer, but um, this is the solo, my solo variant. And just to clarify some of the rules, which admittedly are, sometimes have to be a little bit made up on the spot, although... Um, I've played this enough as a solo game that I feel like I've come up with all the event. Well, I, I'll never say all the eventualities. This is a a big game. There's a lot of little little ideas on the cards that I just can't account for sometimes. But one of the things is that you only resolve peril if you used an action point to travel to a space that turn. Uh, if you'll recall from the previous adventure, I didn't use an action point to move to this space, I was blown here by a blizzard. So that's why I didn't resolve any action point, any uh, peril uh, points this turn. Okay, so it's a new, it's a new turn. The previous turn I did a, I, I picked myself up from being tipped and then I, I found Emmy. So that's, that was the previous turn. This is a new turn. I think I'm gonna take a moment to just kind of, well, first, I guess, start of the turn. First, draw a map. Forbidden Hollow, another inviting location. Uh, I guess I'll just put that here. It kind of makes sense, a black gate to a black gate. So that's not accessible eastward, but it is accessible by going east and then north. Not that I need to get there, I'm just, I'm just saying. Um, that's really, I can't, I can't succeed on my other mission until I find the Glacier Canyon. So I'm a little bit limited in terms of, I mean, not that I want to do that yet. I've got Emmy. I need to get her back to safety. Okay, so that was that. Was that. Now I need to resolve the Winterize spell. She's on a frozen space. I don't have to do anything there. One thing I've really, really not been great at is moving this token. So I'm going to move that token which I thought if I tied it sort of to the winterized spell, I would kind of remember it better, but I, I've been forgetting a lot. But there, now it's somewhere else. And that's just, again, if, if, if there's a card that says to move to a random location, that's the random location. And it's supposed to move every start of the... At the start of each turn, I'm supposed to move it somewhere. Okay, so that, that was um, the start of the turn. Now I get two action points to spend. I'm down a card. So I'm going to use one action point to draw a card, and this is the Firebomb spell. Uh, it gives my character a plus one to melee, and it also can unfreeze a space, which we've already seen, I think, some, some of the peril cards get bonuses if you encounter them on a frozen space. This kind of takes care of that. So I'm going to use my second action point to move this card to my learned pack ability, which which basically just says that it is a spell that Anoku knows and and she can keep it in her in her stash, but it doesn't count toward her hand total, which is nice. Now once again I haven't moved this turn. I didn't use an action point to travel so I do not have to resolve a peril, any peril uh, cards. So that was that turn. So turn two of the session. 
grim crossroads. It's a place with a pit. It's not going to be super fun to, to navigate. Uh, I'm just, I guess I'm just going to put it up here. Um, yeah, why not? Because it fits. <laughs> so that's where it fits on the board. I'll move my quest cards up a little bit. Uh, Winterize spell. I'll move this token there. It's going to go all the way across, and then it'll go down all the way across, and then back up. Um, so that moved. Winterize spell. Nope, I'm unfrozen, so who cares? So now I have two action points again. Well, once again, I'm actually just going to draw. Um, and this is an Arctic Walker. It's a permanent spell, and it gives me a plus one to movement. Well, this is obviously huge. And for my second action point, I'm going to immediately move it to my learned pack. So instead of having two movement speed, I now have three movement speed. That's going to be a little bit of a game changer for me. So that was my second action point, but the second action point granted me another action point. And so I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to move up a space. Yeah, I think I am. I mean, I could just draw another card. That would be the other option. And then maybe move, move, move. Yeah, that would be the smart thing to do, actually. Yeah, all right. I'm just drawing another card. This is an Arctic Warrior. It's a permanent spell, so it's actually another boost to abilities. It gives me a melee score. Whereas right now she has zero melee score. And quite a good bonus if I'm on a frozen space. Oh, oops. Can't, can't do that. So that's in my hand now. That's good. And that's that turn. So now I'm going to... Oh, Temple of Sholazar or Sholazar. Uh, this is a bad, obviously a bad place. I mean, it's, it's six peril. This is actually the home of the Ice Witch, so it's really not great. Uh, it's permanently frozen. Demons um, get two, that are, are valued at two less peril. So when I'm resolving peril, it would be feasible to draw a, you know, I don't know, a five demon. But it would only be treated as a six demon, and so then I would have to draw another card. That would be bad. Um, okay. So, this is a horrible place, and I don't want to ever go here. I'll put it way up there at the top of the map, and I just, I'll just i just hope that I never have to go to that place. There are quests that send you there, but luckily my two quests don't. Winterize spell moves this guy over here. That's going to be awkward next turn, uh, so he'll probably move aside pretty quickly. Or not next turn, this turn. Uh, and now it's my turn. So for one action point, I'm going to move up into this space with Emmy, which forces this off my space. And I can pay, so that was one action point. So I can pay, I guess I'm going to start tracking my action points because I, I'm a very forgetful person. Um, so that was one action point that I just spent. I can pay an action, uh, an action point, a movement point, uh, and uh, one glory to recover a health, some health. So you pay glory by discarding a card. These are not really cards I want to pay. I, I don't want to lose these cards. These are really good cards. But what I could do... is I could use this action point to move the Arctic Warrior over to my permanent car, uh, pack. So that's full now. That has three cards. It cannot take any more. And then use my final one to discard maybe the Potion of Heroism to gain one point back. So I'm at five health now. 
And that's all the action points for that round. However, I did use a point to travel this round. And so I do have to resolve the peril. Luckily, it's only two peril. So hopefully, hopefully this will be something... Okay, four. So this is the only one I have to... Um, I have to contend with. And this one might be something that I just discard because it says all monsters you control have plus one uh, magic while all demons you control have plus two magic at any time you may discard this card to give all demons a plus one yeah so this is very much a multiplayer card um it's hard to translate this into the solo game because it really only affects something in addition, you know, it, it, it requires something else to have been played. So my choices here are I could either just discard this and draw again, or I could say that it's kind of just a special condition uh, that, that that requires me to, to draw a new uh, peril card in addition to this. But that kind of violates my my home, my, you know, the rule of if you're on a card with two peril, you only have to resolve, you know, two peril, and this is four. So this should be the only peril card that I have to draw. So I think under these circumstances, I'm just going to discard this and draw a different peril card. Sometimes that's just how it works. Oh, darn. Okay, so this is a combine warp. Combine warp. Relo relocate target hero, that would be me, to a space occupied by another hero. Oh, that's actually not bad. <laughs> okay, so once again, uh, there is no other hero. I'm playing a solo edition, or a solo variant. So that's what this marker is for. So anytime a card moves me to another location this this is the location so under the circumstances that's one of the best possible results because um i it actually brings me closer to the entrance so i kind of got a free movement there if i wanted to be a little bit meaner to myself i could i could just roll a die like a d4 and say that north north is 1 east is 2 south is 3 west is 4 and bizarrely i i just rolled a 4 so that's west <laughs> anyway so um i guess everyone agrees with me the, the, the game agrees with me that I was supposed to be shunted over one space. So there you go. That's that's how we're playing it, because that's that's what both the token and the die apparently wanted me to do. And that's the end of that turn. So I'm only one square away. That's really, really good for me. Uh, I feel like this is the Emmy quest completion end game. Uh, so I'm starting a new turn, so I'm drawing a card. And just putting it somewhere. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll put it, yeah, I'll put it down here just because I don't see myself necessarily really wanting to go there anytime for any reason. So I'll just stick it up over there. Um, winterize spell. Well, this is already frozen. So again, I don't have to resolve the winterize curse. And now I have two, three action points to spend because my movement is three now thanks to my Arctic Walker ability. Well, I don't think there's any advantage to doing anything other than moving to the northern village. That's not true, actually. Let's let's read the Emmy card really quick. How do I get rid of Emmy? I think I just drop her off at the village. To complete this quest, discard the token while on any entrance. Yeah, okay. So I just need to be at the entrance, and then I can get rid of Emmy. So I think I'll, I'll actually, yeah, I think I think I will use one action point to draw a new card. 
It's the Arctic Nomad. Uh, your hero has a plus one melee. Well, that's not going to do me much good because I've already got a plus one melee because of my Arctic Warrior feat. Actually, let me look at this again. Your hero cannot be tipped while on a frozen space. At any time, you may discard this card to prevent a wound. Well, that's better than the Arctic Warrior. Well, no, it's not necessarily. Because on Frozen, I have a plus two. Okay, so I think I'll keep this. So this card will be good for, for discarding. Like if there's a space, you know, that says pay, pay a glory point, uh, th this will qualify for that. So it's not a bad thing to have. Okay, that's, that was one action point uh, used. So I guess I'll just go back up here to the village and discard Emmy. So that quest is complete. So the only further quest I need to do is get to the glacial canyon and slay a frigid demon. You may not initiate a challenge on a hero here. You may pay two glory to discard one personal heroic quest and draw one new one. Okay. Well, I don't want to do that. I'm, I'm fine with my quests. So I have an action point still left to to use up. And I don't really want to go super close to the Temple of Kolizar. So maybe I'll just go down here to the inbound swamp. But this has a, a lower rating. I just don't want to end up there on accident. Um, I guess I'll just use my, yeah, I'll use my my movement to get over there. Because I'm assuming that when I find the canyon, I'm going to put it somewhere over here. I don't know. I'm kind of wandering around aimlessly right now because like, i got to bide my time to find the glacial canyon. Okay. Um, so that was my, those were all my action points. So now I have to resolve peril. There's two peril points that need to be used up here. So we'll draw five. Ice Dragon. Plus one to all attacks on frozen spaces. Well, it's not frozen yet because I don't do the winterized spell until the beginning of the round. Inflicts one wound when engaged in melee and tips the opponent. Inflicts one wound when engaged with magic in magic. Okay. And it's got three movement. So I can engage with this thing three different ways. I can either go up against it with melee. This isn't a frozen space, so I only have one melee myself. Probably not the best of choices. I could use magic. I have a bonus of three magic, I think. Do I? No, I don't. I have... No, I don't have a bonus on magic. But you know what I do have is I've got... Oh, no, I discarded that. Okay, it's fine. So I could go up against it with magic. My bonus on magic is only a one. I don't have a potion anymore to bring my level up to three. So I'm pretty underpowered there. But I still, I still have a, a trick up my sleeve, possibly. Or I could run. And I do have a three movement speed, so we're kind of equally matched there. So I could just run away from this thing. But I, I don't feel like running yet. I don't, I don't think I need to run quite yet. Okay, so um, there's a dragon. So what I could do is discard this card to get myself some glory points to spend. I'm going to do that because... Anaku has a special ability of Channel Arctic Wind. And I can pay any number of glory, which I just paid four, to, to affect a target monster. I'll do the dragon, thanks. Uh, to negative magic of whatever I spent. So I spent four glory, so the dragon now has negative four to its magic check. 
which brings it down to zero because it's four currently. I feel like that levels the playing field a little bit. I mean, technically it makes me, it gives me the advantage technically. So I will roll in combat, you roll two die. Uh, so, or a D12 if you want to play on hard mode, but um, let's just go with two die right now. So this will be um, Onoku's um, die. 10 plus her one bonus of magic is 11. I guess I'll mark that as, yeah, there we go. Okay, so she just rolled an 11 total. And now the dragon will roll. And it rolled an 11. That's unbelievable. Um, okay. So a tie. I think on a tie, I'm just going to have everyone reroll. All right. That's a lot less great for Onoku this time around. She only rolled a six with her magic bonus. Um, let's just hope that the dragon does worse. Four? Five. Wow. Okay. So Onoku takes that round. The dragon has two health points. So the dragon now only has one health point. Okay, so we're going back back to battle. Um, and let's see, this says the monster in your space has that effect this turn. So, I mean, that's that's still this turn. So we're, we're basically, we're just, we're just continuing. We're just rolling more die. So that's a five and a two, effectively, for Anaku because she's got that plus one magic. So she got a seven total. And this is the dragon, four, and one again. It's kind of unbelievable. Uh, so the dragon is dead. Great. That's the first time I've beat that dragon quite that easily. I've never played Onoku before. Um, that Channel Arctic Wind, as long as you've got some good glory points <laughs> to get rid of, uh, that seems pretty 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 powerful that's going to be very very useful okay so i'm not dead amazingly uh, and that is very unusual when going up against an ice dragon um and i am holding on to this destroy demon card for life because or for my very life because this is going to save me when i encounter demons because demons are typically worse than dragons uh, so that's a, an important thing to have that was the end of that turn, so in my next session, I will uh, continue playing. I'll, I'll draw a new map card and hopefully uncover that glacial canyon. Thanks for watching.